Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. Before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video today, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. Elon Musk's first Starship update in two years is next week. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk announced plans to give an update on his company's next generation Starship rocket next Thursday evening. The presentation will come more than two years after Musk's last update on the vehicle in 2019. Since 2016, Musk has been giving periodic presentations on his plans to build a giant rocket to send people to deep space and onto Mars someday. Those plans have certainly evolved over time, and the rocket at the heart of this endeavor has gone through various design changes and iterations as well. The vehicle's gone by quite a few different names too, from BFR to Mars Colonial Transporter to eventually Starship. During Musk's last update in September of 2019, the CEO gave his presentation at Boca Chica, standing in front of a full prototype of Starship. Musk's tweet on the new presentation says it will take place on Thursday, February the 10th at 9pm ET, but no other details have been given about the event. Starship is the massive new deep space rocket that SpaceX has been developing at the company's test facility in Boca Chica, Texas for the past few years. The fully reusable vehicle is designed to carry astronauts and cargo to the moon, Mars and beyond. The giant vehicle consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. A first stage booster called Super Heavy and a 165 foot tall spacecraft known as Starship. So far, SpaceX has conducted a few high altitude test flights with the vehicle, but has yet to launch Starship to orbit. The company is currently awaiting approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to launch Starship to orbit out of Boca Chica. There should be a lot to talk about on Thursday. SpaceX is gearing up the first ever Starship orbital test flight, which will lift off from the company's Starbase facility in South Texas. SpaceX plans to launch that mission as soon as possible after the US Federal Aviation Administration wraps up an environmental assessment of Starbase. That review is expected to be complete at the end of this month, FAA officials have said. SpaceX already has some Starship missions on the books. For example, NASA picked the giant vehicle as the lunar lander for the first crewed surface mission of its Artemis program, a touchdown that's targeted for 2025 or thereabouts. And Japanese billionaire Yasaku Maezawa, who recently returned from a tourist trip to the International Space Station, has booked a Starship trip around the moon for himself and a handful of artists. That mission could launch as soon as next year. While Starship has long been Musk's pet project, NASA also has a vested interest in the vehicle. In 2021, the space agency awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to develop Starship as a lander to carry NASA astronauts to the surface of the moon. Musk has been talking about his intentions to build this project since 2016. The designs have been altered a lot over time, and the project's center has seen several design changes and iterations as well. The Starship is also known as BFR and Mars Colonial Transporter. In early August of 2021, while both the projects were still weeks or months away from completion, Starship S-20 and Super Heavy Booster 4 were stacked for the first time. Starship S-20 began a multi-month phase of qualification tests only a few months later, finally becoming the first Starship prototype to successfully test all six Raptor engines at the same time. For unknown reasons, Super Heavy B4 had an even more difficult time and only graduated to basic cryogenic proof testing in mid-December, more than four months later. 
even though the booster has had all 29 Raptor 1 engines mounted for months. It has yet to perform or try a single static fire of any of them, let alone a basic wet dress rehearsal with genuine liquid oxygen and methane propellant. SpaceX did eventually conduct a few Booster 4 Raptor ignition tests, but these were almost as much of a test of the launch pad as they were for Super Heavy. SpaceX's slow and limited progress in testing Booster 4 could be due to concerns with the orbital launch pad tank farm architecture. Thousands of tons of propellant and coolant have already been stored in the oxygen and nitrogen of the farm, but the fuel side has yet to be loaded with methane, which makes complete testing a super heavy booster considerably more difficult. However, there are some obvious solutions SpaceX might have implemented if it had truly desired to begin proof testing Booster 4 as soon as it was possible. It is, in fact, still unclear if the two projects will be able to achieve their intended purpose of assisting the vehicle on its maiden velocity test flight. Nonetheless, these are two massive projects that have a large amount of time and money invested. In his most recent update, Elon Musk claimed that Starship would conduct the second ever full stack fit test with a Starship upper stage and super heavy booster as the event and updates highlight. While Musk has been waiting long to fulfill his dream, his pet project of a vehicle to send to Mars, he is not the only person who seems interested in this idea. NASA has also shown interest in the project. SpaceX was awarded a $2.9 billion contract last year to construct Starship as a lander that will transport NASA astronauts to the lunar surface. In 2022, SpaceX appears to be concentrating on testing a relatively unimportant component of the first orbital Starship launch site. The booster would have been fueled through the launch mount and the Starship would have been fueled through a connection with the booster. The plan was to simplify the tower considerably. That was an initial design of the Starship. In principle, however, substituting that design with a complicated, building-sized umbilical arm may boost the nominal payload to orbit of Starship by a few percent. In fact, the tower's lift or catch arms are only truly irreplaceable once waiting a few days for safe lift conditions becomes a bottleneck for Starship launch procedures, as SpaceX did the first full-stack test with a crane. After SpaceX successfully launched the Falcon 9 to commemorate a milestone for the older rocket, Elon Musk spoke too much about the details. During the meeting, the CEO and billionaire said in another tweet that the Starship will outperform the Falcon 9. He added that the rocket would be the holy grail of rocketry, once operational, citing its reusability as a key feature. Even if Starship is to be used as a vehicle to transport between two planets, it seems too far-fetched and out of this world, literally and figuratively. The vision of this man has never ceased to amaze us all. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like, subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.